Renee Zellweger, welcome to breakfast. Thank you. Can I be the 10,000th person to tell you how absolutely awesome you are as Judy Garland? Thank you. It is quite overwhelming seeing you transform yourself. How did you manage it, the slouch of the shoulders, the singing voice? Oh, you know, just a lot of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I had, you know, a lot of help. I worked with a fantastic team of vocal coaches and, you know, Matt Dunkley, our composer, was there every day and D David, the producer, Rupert, the director, all just friends, all friends trying things and exploring, trying to better understand Judy to give a proper representation in some way. You're gonna love me. Watching you, it was hard sometimes to remind myself it was actually you and not Judy Garland. Did you feel by the end of it, you'd absolutely nailed it? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> I can always do better, do more, do it again, do it again. <laughs> but it, it was a joyful experience, just that sort of exploration. Rupert called it mining for treasure. Every day we were just digging to see if we could discover something new that felt essential and conjuring her essence and telling the story. So it was just a celebration, really. That's what it felt like. The sun's in my heart. I'm getting ready for love. How did you feel about her before you started this project? Oh, I just adored her, you know, and I took her for granted. She was just extraordinary, and she was always there. She was, you know, from the time I can remember anything at all, she was Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, and we watched her together every year when it came on the television set, and my parents played her on the turntable, and so I just sort of took her for granted, but it was sort of in coming to better understand the circumstances that she's grappling with toward the end of her life in order to continue performing on the level that people had come to expect of her that I really, really could see how extraordinary she was. I can't. What? No, 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 no. What, what do you mean you can't? There's an audience out there waiting to hear you sing. My mouth's dry and it could fall apart. Listen to me. I can't. You'll be fine. Now, on you go. There's that beautiful, intimate scene with the gay couple who take you home for supper. Stan and Dan. <laughs> How much of the movie relies on what you thought the behaviour of Judy might be? Well, there are certain things that are non-negotiable uh, and certain things that are on public record. Like, she did go out with her fans. She befriended her fans. That particular storyline was something that Rupert wanted to include um, in order to represent what it was that she meant to the LGBTQ plus community, um, which is sort of indelible when you think about the legacy of Judy Garland. And then there was just a mix of things. What she said about certain circumstances in her life, her response to what was written about her, and then what was written about her. Autobiographies from people who said they knew her, people we know who knew her. Just a lot of material to sort of peruse and then fill in the blanks of what can't be known, of a private experience when the door is closed. Every career has its ups and downs. As you know yourself, you are now riding an incredible up with Judy, and rightly so. How does it feel to be on that roller coaster? I don't think I ride that roller coaster. I um, I don't, I don't, I can't see it from another perspective. I, my experiences are um, are apart from that. The rest of it is sort of projection and none of my business, <laughs> so I don't get involved. I just I know the experiences from the inside and their real life and I know what I take away from them and that doesn't go up or down ever. That's always been right here and, and very real to me. The friendships that I made on this, for example, and what I learned from this and how we all grew in making this and sharing this experience, that's treasure for me. And it doesn't become less valuable depending on how it's perceived, you know? Renee, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you too. It's nice to talk to you. There's a land that I you won't forget me, will you? Promise you won't. <laughs> <laughs>